Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you favorite fragrances of mine that everyone should have in their men's fragrance wardrobe. At number seven, we're going to start with a classic, a traditional, a timeless fragrance, and that is Versace Pour Home. Versace Pour Home is a fragrance that is a classic, it is a signature scent for any guy. It is a fragrance that can be carried from daytime to nighttime and used any time of year. Anyone who has a fragrance collection, anyone who's starting their fragrance collection needs this because it can be used in so many different settings, in so many different experiences that you may be wanting to create. And that is why Versace Per Home needs to be in your selection. In the top, main accords you're going to have citrus aromatic fresh and spicy it's floral it's rose and it's green in your top notes you're going to experience lemon bergamot neroli and rose de mai in the middle notes there is hyacinth cedar clary sage and geranium and in the base notes you have tonka bean musk and ember like I said, for this particular fragrance, it can be used primarily spring and summer, but it is universal. It just depends on your climate in which you are living in. Now, and if your winters are bitter cold and you have fall time where you have the full on changing of the leaves, this is not going to be one that you would wear in the evening. This would be more daytime for you. This one is primarily for spring and summer, warmer type climates, but it can be a signature scent. It's just classic, it's timeless, it is sexy. It is one that you should not be without when you're creating your signature fragrance wardrobe scents. And that's Versace per home. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one that I have for you. And the next selection that I have for you, this one here is going to be one that is a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit more mature, not old, but a little bit more reserved and spicy. This one's gonna be powdery, spicy, it has a little bit of vanilla to it. This one here I can see transitioning from fall to winter or from winter to spring, still in the colder months, still in the times when temperatures are a little bit cooler. I can also see this being used in the evening. Um, this one here is Gentleman. Eau de Parfum by Givenchy. Okay, so on your top notes for this fragrance, oh, it's so good, okay. In the top notes, you're gonna have black pepper, lavender, bergamot. In the middle notes, you have orris, cloves, and cinnamon. And in the base notes, you have black vanilla husk. You have tolu balsam, tonka bean, benzoin and patchouli. Now I definitely smell the benzoin and the patchouli. It's a little heavier on the patchouli, but it's not overbearing and it's not overpowering. It's just right. This one is gonna give you a little bit more sillage. You're gonna be more noticed if you wear this particular fragrance. But if you splash it on, let's say you've just taken a shower and you're getting ready for bed and you have an an intimate night plan for you. This would be perfect for that setting as well. This is one I would just go lighter on if you are planning to wear it for bedtime. This is one though that you need in your wardrobe because this can transition winter to spring and daytime to evening. This is more gonna, I see this more as an evening type fragrance, not necessarily formal, but it is a little more sophisticated. And this one is Givenchy Eau de Parfum, and it's Gentleman, Gentleman Eau de Parfum. All right, 
Let's go ahead and go on to the next selection. I believe that you should have in your collection, if you're just starting out, if you're looking for that core, that base of your fragrance collection, you're just starting, you don't know where to begin. So many people have that question, where do I get started? What should I be looking for? How many fragrances should I carry? Well, you carry as many as you want. I'm just gonna give you a few recommendations as to when I see these fragrances carry you throughout the year and into certain situations or occasions. All right, let's move on to the next one. The next one is gonna be uh, none other than a Giorgio Armani fragrance. This is Aqua de Jo Profondo. This one is aromatic, marine, citrus, fresh and spicy, woody, fresh, a mineral, and salty. This is going to be a sexier, more daytime fragrance, more spring to summer fragrance. It's going to still give you that sexual, sensual, sophistication. I can also see it though, if you don't spray too much, if you go light on the spray, I can also see this as a good work scent. This is something that could be used in the office. I see a navy suit, starched shirt, Maybe not a tie, maybe more casual Friday, but still that business attire. You know that summertime when you're going out, not necessarily happy hour with the guys, you could do that. But I see this also being a very romantic fragrance. I see this as being a playful evening date night fragrance. It's very versatile in that sense. Um, and I can see, you know, having those margaritas on those hot summer nights and chilling with your sweetest it is so good it is so beautiful the longevity you're going to get moderate to long moderate longevity on this one and moderate siege as well it is beautiful it's high quality it's armani aqua de jo profundo profundo okay don't get this confused with the black bottle the black bottle is perfumo and this one here is por Fondo and Parfondo also comes in Parfondo lights. This particular one is just straight up Parfondo. All right. Okay. The next one that you're going to want to have in your collection that should be a staple that is uh, just, well, let me just show you the bottle. Gucci speaks for itself. This is Gucci Por Home. Gucci Por Home is an eau de toilette. And this one here is going to be one that can be used primarily for evening, but no, I take that back. This one here is going to be one that can be a signature scent for you. It can be used at any time of season. The only time I probably wouldn't be using this if I were you is on those really hot summer days, right? I wouldn't use that for this particular fragrance. I can see this transition from fall, spring, and um, fall into winter, then to spring. Not so much summer, unless your summers aren't as hot. I know in some more tropical areas, it's more light, airy, it doesn't get above 70 degrees, you'll be fine. But if you live where I live, we get to 100, 103 degrees during the summer, I wouldn't want to use Gucci Por Home for that. But it is beautiful, it is timeless, it is classic, it is sophisticated. Here your main accords are woody, tobacco, aromatic, fresh, spicy, violet, sweet, amber, powdery, citrus, and patchouli. Now, in your top notes. I always like to provide you this information because if you don't have a chance to sample it and you're going off of my recommendation, this is going to help you make that decision whether you want it or not. Now you can trust me, I promise. This is an outstanding fragrance, just trust me. Um, in your top notes, cypress, violet, bergamot. Your middle notes, you're going to have tobacco and jasmine. And in your base notes, you're going to have patchouli, leather, amber, 
almond resin and olibum. Um, that one's always hard for me to pronounce. And you're going to have olibanum. Okay, so I'm going to spray this again. I smell that green and the fragrance. I smell the tobacco and that leather, but it's not heavy. Like I said, this is a signature scent. And when I say that, you can use this the majority time of year. And that's why I like to recommend these particular fragrance that I have for you today. Because when you're building your collection and you don't have a wide range to choose from, you want those that can be versatile into and whatever setting you're trying to create. So this one can go from daytime to nighttime. This one can go from casual to more of a elegant evening. And that's why I've chosen Gucci Pour Home for you. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Now the next one, there's nothing easy about this one. This one's just a beast. This one is beast mode. This one is Bentley for men intense. This is beast mode. This is sillage to the max. This one will get you noticed. This one is definitely a nighttime, winter time, elegant, formal time of a fragrance. That's when you're going to want to wear Bentley intense. It just is. It's spicy. It's sweet. It's leathery. There is, it's boozy. There's that, just that rum and cocktail vibe that you get from this and the spiciness. It's warm. It does have that smoky scent to it. It's aromatic. So it's going to envelop the area around you. It's gonna give you that sillage. Like I said, this is beast. This is nothing playful. This is hot, sophisticated, sexy, uh, I mean business kind of fragrance. Okay, in the, and like I said, you're gonna wanna wear this mo mostly in the cooler months, right? Fall and winter evening. You can take this and make it more formal, more of an elegant type, sophisticated type evening. In your top notes, you have black pepper, bay leaf, bergamot. In the middle notes, you have rum, woody notes, cinnamon. Then you have clary sage and African geranium. In your base notes, you have incense, leather, benzoin, patchouli, and cedar. Can't go wrong with this one. This one here needs to be in your collection. Should be in everyone's collection. Now, this one was a blind buy for me. And most people would say, do not blind buy this. No, you can blind buy this. This, you can't go wrong. Read the notes, educate yourself, but know that this is sophisticated, handsome, strikingly handsome, gorgeous, confident, and it will project and get you noticed. Like it is beautiful, very, very elegant, sexy, sophisticated fragrance. And this is Bentley Intense for men. All right, okay, let's move on. Now, in any fragrance collection, you're gonna wanna have one of those that is more of those night out clubbing type fragrances and the clubbing type fragrances this is iconic like everyone knows if you know fragrances everyone knows that this particular fragrance should be in your collection if you don't already have it you need versace arrows versace arrows is that club fragrance it is going to make you present it's going to make you get noticed. It's going to get you those compliments. It's going to drive the women or men wild. I guarantee it. This one here at your main accords, you have vanilla. It's aromatic. It's green, fresh and spicy, amber, sweet, fruity, citrus, woody, and fresh. This one, what I love about this as well, signature scent. It can be used at any time of year, any time of day. If you wear it during the daytime, 
wear it very light. I would do one of those sprays in the air and then walk through it if you're wearing it during the daytime. Now, if you're wearing it at night, go full on. A couple of sprays here around the neck, around the neck and the back, and then in your body for sure. Okay, so your top notes, you have mint, you have green apple and lemon, in the middle notes, you have tonka bean and ambroxan, and you have geranium. You have Madagascar vanilla, Virginian cedar, Virginian cedar, Atlas cedar, vetiver, and oak moss in the base notes. Now, don't think that vetiver is gonna be too green for you. It's not, it's perfectly blended because the vanilla makes it creamier in the finish. The ambroxan is gonna give you that unique special fragrant from yourself. Now, a lot of people are like, oh, everybody has this. It's gonna smell like just everybody else that's around me. That's not true. Because there is that ambroxan in there, it's going to change. And it, fragrances do this for any body chemistry. So it's going to change based on your own body chemistry. You can't go wrong with Eros. You need it in your collection. It's a must have. This one here is my number two. Now we're down to number one, okay, of what you need in your fragrance collection. I don't know if we were counting, but yes, this is number two and this is gonna be my number one. Okay, my last one that I have for you today, this one here is Perfumes de Marley Layton. Layton here is a warm, spicy vanilla fresh and spicy, woody, aromatic fragrance that is fruity, powdery, lavender, fresh, and citrus. This here is high quality and a little bit pricier. Yes, for sure. All the other ones that I've shown you before, you can be able to afford these in your collection. You can always go to the Armani website. They run promotions throughout the time. Macy's, any of those department stores that are around you, Dillard's, they run promotions. Get them around the holidays, Father's Day. Um, you're going to be able to get like a two for one. You'll get an aftershave with a, a eau de toilette or you're gonna get like a twin set where you'll have one fragrance of that same brand in another collection of another one. So, and what I mean by that is you'll have, let's say you have Armani, you'll have one of the flankers with it to go with it. So get them during that time. But this one here is going to be one that if you don't have, you know, it in your budget, then get it in an atomizer. You'll see in some of my other videos where I have travel atomizers instead of the full bottle. Uh, this one here was full bottle worthy for me. I wanted it in the collection. And it is, it is long lasting. It's not gonna, it's not gonna fade on you. It's gonna stay with you. And it's going to entice uh, that individual that you wanna attract. It is gorgeous. It is a compliment getter. It is one that needs to be in your collection. You don't want to be without this. Save on this one if you can. And if, like I said, if it's not in your budget, get a travel atomizer of it. Fragrance Net, Lucky Sense, those types of websites are going to be able to get you a good size travel atomizer. This one is one that is definitely one that you have to have in your collection. This one here, you can use it pretty much all the way around the year, depending on the environment in which you live. I just wouldn't use it during those very, very hot summer days. But this one is great for daytime and nighttime in the fall, spring, and winter. Um, it is one that transitions from daytime to evening. Um, you can wear it in the office, go lighter during the day, and then freshen up as you're going out for the evening. It is beautiful. In the top notes, you have apple, lavender, mandarin, orange, and bergamot. In the middle notes, you have geranium, violet, and jasmine. And then in the Bates notes, you have vanilla, cardamom, sandalwood, pepper, patchouli, and guadiotic wood. Now, with that vanilla and the sandalwood, it just makes it creamier, but it gives that really beautiful blend with the patchouli and the pepper. This is Layton by Parfums de Marley. All right, everyone, this wraps up my top seven 
selections for you when you are creating a fragrance wardrobe for yourself. And if you already have a fragrance wardrobe, but maybe you're missing one or two of these particular fragrances, go out and get yourselves a bottle. I promise you they will not do you wrong and they will bring you joy and happiness to you. All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. If you found this video helpful or entertaining in any way, please make sure you hit that thumbs up, hit the notification bell for any future videos I put out for you, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. I'll see you back in the next one.